on the dock of a bay. Oh, little Otis Reed. Watching the tide. 642. And we're taking a live look at uh, over at North Island. It's a little fog around town. On the dock of the bay. The song just makes me feel right. Okay, this guy, he says that you can find opportunities in nearly any obstacle, and he's made his whole career out of helping people achieve success. So lo local author Greg Reed is with us now. Good morning. Good morning to you. Okay, so the new book, Three Feet from Gold, this is it. Yes. What, what is it about? Well, it's about a gold miner who actually gave up on a dream. He found gold, and all of a sudden, the gold ran out. And after digging, he gave up. He walked away defeated, and he was only three feet away from one of the largest gold strikes in the history of the United States. So what's the message? Well, how many people quit? They quit one class short from their degree. They quit their sales, marriage. It seems like right now, so many people are giving up on their goals and aspirations. What we want to do is interview today's top leaders to find out what they did to persevere through challenging times. That's what it's all about. Who'd you talk to? Oh my gosh, I got to talk to everyone from Evander Holyfield to Miss America, the president of NASCAR, to the guy who started Chick-fil-A restaurant. It was absolutely an amazing journey. What do they all have in common? You know, what did you come mm. up with? Stickability. They all understood the power of commitment. Stickability? Yes, it's about <laughs> finding something and sticking to it. I love it. It's really true, though. I mean, once we have something, it's called the knowing. Not belief, but we know inside our hearts that we're doing something that's our passion. Well, don't let anyone dictate what you can and cannot do. Say that again. Okay, once we know something in our heart. We know. We know. See, the difference between, let's say I believe I'll find love one day. Well, that's nice compared to someone says, no, I know I'll find love. I'm on Match.com. I'm going to my local church. I'm asking my friends. Well, chances are they got a laser beam focus on what they want. They yeah. know what they're looking for. They, okay. Though the people we interviewed, they found their knowing, and they didn't let anyone dictate what they could and could not do. And once you know what your no feels like, you know the difference. Yes, okay. absolutely. <laughs> okay. it's a burning, that's what they call a burning desire. That's what they call a passion. That's Got what it. they call a purpose. Yes. Okay, okay, I'm following you. Okay, so let's talk about um, success. What do you think is the definition of success? What do you think is the definition of failure? Well, I believe that failure is just giving up before the miracle happens. Again, if you have that knowing and you're on a right path and you give up three feet away from gold, well, then you don't get the gold. Exactly. What That's is, what it comes down to. What is success then? Well, success goes down to each person's own individuality. I don't know if it's defined by money, quite frankly. It's more something we talk about. It's called the success equation. Combining your passion with your talent taking action with the right association and having faith that that's what you're supposed to be doing. That's the true definition of success. Having faith in that you are doing what you think you should be doing. Is that yeah, what you just what said? You, exactly. Well, you see a lot of people like this American Idol. They've got a lot of passion, but some yeah. of them are lacking talent. Oh. So if you don't have passion <laughs> with talent, right? Mm. And then if you don't take action with the right association and believe that that's what you're supposed to be doing, you have that knowing, chances are you might fall short. Why are we here? What is the meaning of life? Oh, geez, there what you go. What is the meaning of life? Why are we here? <laughs> well, it's so interesting. Again, I don't know if it's the meaning of life in general as much as what's the meaning of my life. Each person, I believe, put on this planet for their own individual reason. And it's their opportunity and responsibility to find out what that reason is. Big statement. This book will show you how to do it. Greg Reed, thank you very much for being here. Oh, thanks for having the, me. The new book, Three Feet from Gold, he's uh, authored many other books and contributed to dozens of other books. Yes. Motivational speaker, Three Feet from Gold is your recent, your most recent book. And again, um, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me. Keep in touch. Keep us posted on what's going on. And anytime you want to come motivate us, please do. Oh, thanks. I'm going to motivate myself to go do the weather now.